James Clapper just flipped. Look what he said about Trump's fitness. James Clapper Jr. is a former national intelligence director. He recently went on CNN's Don Lemon on early Wednesday. And watch the video below. Don Lemon asks, are you questioning his fitness? And Clapper responds, I really question his ability uh, to be, his fitness to be in this office. And I am also beginning to wonder about his motivation for it. Maybe he is looking for a way out. I mean, it, I'm not going to read this part. You can, you can just take a listen, but this is very disturbing and James Clapper and notice the seriousness in Don Lemon's voice here as if he's not trying to attack Trump now they are trying to make it seem like he's you know they're concerned take a listen here contrast uh, last night's uh, teleprompter Trump performance uh, versus uh, tonight which is of course uh, the real Trump, uh, just as it was in the, the unglued, impromptu press conference uh, at Trump Tower. So I, I just find this uh, extremely disturbing. Are you questioning his fitness? Yes, I do. I, 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 I really question, question uh, his uh, ability to, uh, his fitness to be in this office. And I also uh, am beginning to wonder uh, about uh, his, his motivation for it. Maybe, maybe he is looking for a way out. Uh, I do wonder as well about uh, uh, the people that uh, uh, attracted to, to, this, to the, this rally as, as others. Uh, you know, what are they thinking? Or why am I so far out, uh, off base? Because I, I don't understand uh, the adulation. And of course, that's why I think he uh, gravitated to having this rally as ill-timed as it as it is. Uh, he should have quit while he was ahead after last night. But uh, again, I think the uh, the real Trump uh, came through. And again, as Bakari said, shouldn't be a big surprise to anyone. What should we do? What should Washington do at this point? You said you're questioning his fitness. There are many people who are saying it. They won't say it publicly. They don't have the courage that you do. Maybe after this speech they will now. It will become painfully obvious to, as it is to most Americans. What should we do? Well, I think, uh, you know, the key thing here is uh, where is he with uh, Republicans? And I was quite struck by Senator Corker's uh, remarks, very thoughtful and very, very measured. And uh, I've, I know Senator Corker, I've dealt with him, and uh, he is a very thoughtful senator. And uh, he wouldn't say that uh, lightly and, and without uh, forethought. And I'm hopeful that other uh, sim similarly thoughtful Republicans will reach the point where enough is enough. Hmm. Enough is enough. And what do you, what do you mean? Be playing for us. Well, <laughs> that this behavior uh, and this uh, uh, divisiveness and the, and the complete uh, intellectual, moral, and ethical void that uh, the President of the United States exhibits, and uh, how much longer does the country have to, uh, to borrow a phrase, endure this nightmare? Hmm. The New York Times is reporting tonight about the falling out between the President and Mitch McConnell over the investigations of Russia's interference in the 2016 election. There you see the headline uh, up on the screen. The report says the President was furious that McConnell failed to protect him. You call the accusations of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia worse than Watergate. What do you think is going on with the President? Why is this such a hot button for him? Well. First, to be clear, Don, I, uh, when I left, certainly uh, on the 20th of January, I, I had not seen any uh, uh, evidence of a direct collusion between the Trump campaign, the Trump camp, and the Russians. There may have been collusion, but uh, 
I didn't have any uh, evidence of it. Um, so I don't understand, uh, frankly, the uh, president's uh, fascination and uh, uh, solicitation of uh, solicitousness of uh, Russia and Putin, uh, particularly unless uh, he feels he's, he's a kindred soul, perhaps. Uh, so it is. It is very strange to me. Um, uh, I, I don't have an explanation for it. I don't know if it's collusion or something else. You you said you question his his fitness. Is he a threat to national security, the president? Well, he certainly could be. Uh, again, um, having some understanding of of the uh, the levers that a president can exercise, um, I worry about, frankly, uh, uh, you know the. Uh, access to nuclear codes. Uh, if he, in a fit of peak, uh, he decides to uh, do something about Kim Jong Un. Uh, there is actually very little uh, to to stop him. Uh, the system, the whole system's built uh, to ensure a rapid response if if necessary. So there's very little uh, in the way of control over. Uh, you know, exercising a nuclear option, which is uh, pretty damn scary. Do you see this as a crisis, Mr. Clapp? Well, I'm not sure what the, what the definition of a, of a crisis is. If, if it is, we've been in it for quite a while, um, certainly since uh, the election. I have to say, Don, I, was, I couldn't help but think in the course of the, uh, the Charlottesville, uh, his statements about Charlottesville, when he was so quick to characterize uh, the intelligence community as Nazis, liken us to Nazis on the 10th of January, yet seem very reluctant to call out the real wanna or the wannabe Nazis uh, in this case. And uh, uh, maybe that's uh, I'm being a little parochial here and, and defen defensive about the intelligence community, but that is, that's one thought I had. So I think if, if, if it is a crisis, uh, we've been in it for quite a while. What do you think other intelligence officials now and people who have some sway in Washington, what are the conversations they're having tonight and what will they be having tomorrow, you think? Well, I think, this speech? I think uh, many people in the intelligence community, certainly in rank and file, are, 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 are worried, are concerned uh, about this. Uh, they, they uh, in their, and it's a tradition in the intelligence community to uh, carry on with the mission and provide the intelligence that our decision makers uh, so desperately need. And they'll continue to do that. But I think in moments of uh, personal reflection, I suspect they are, they are uh, greatly concerned about the uh, divisiveness that uh, is taking hold of this country. James Clapper is a former director of national intelligence. Yeah, he's a former director of intelligence, but he he, the thing is that the deep state is so worried that the truth is going to come out about all these criminals in the CIA, in the, in the FBI, all the criminal activities, Hillary Clinton, her deleted emails. We're look, now he's saying he's totally different now. Uh, we haven't found any evidence on the Russian thing, so he can, uh, he can become more... Uh, believable now. Do you see? That's not what he was saying in the beginning. He was saying that there was, uh, he saw something in, in the Russian collusion thing. So again, this is, the, they're pulling out the big guns now. They have nothing else to, to do. They have found no Russian collusion. Oh, let's have uh, Hillary Clinton, who's uh, borderline uh, having seizures, uh, let's have her on the uh, on the button for the nuclear deal. Are you kidding me? Trump is a smart businessman, and they're trying to discredit him. Are they cra crazy? I, I mean, this is totally absurd. They're pulling out the big guns. The American people are not going to stand for this. The American people voted for Trump, and we voted for Trump because we knew he wasn't part of the deep state. That's the bottom line. Let us know what you think uh, in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.